I chose endocrinology um, sort of step by step. Uh, early on in medical school, it became clear to me that I didn't want to be a surgeon um, since uh, I hated being in the operating room. Um, so, and I enjoyed diagnostic challenges, so it was an easy choice to choose internal medicine. Um, and then as I worked on my internal medicine residency and decided I wanted to pick a subspecialty area, um, endocrinology uh, offered an opportunity to apply my, um, my science background better than almost any other specialty. Since I was in training, many of the other specialties have caught up, but back in the 60s and 70s, endocrinology was really at the forefront of applying chemistry to medicine, and that was very attractive to me, and still is very attractive to me. I see all kinds of patients uh, with endocrinolo endocrinological problems. Uh, my primary interest is, uh, is hypertension, and I specialized in endocrine causes of high blood pressure for 35 years. Um, there's a particular endocrine cause of high blood pressure which was actually discovered and described at the University of Michigan uh, by a person that I came to work with, Dr. Jerome Kahn, and, uh, and the, the thing that brought me back to Michigan on the faculty was the opportunity to work with Dr. Kahn. Um, and I've, my primary research interest and, and clinical expertise has been in the area of this particular form of hypertension, which is called primary aldosteronism. I also have an interest in patients with disorders of sodium and calcium metabolism, but I see thyroid patients and diabetics and pituitary problems and anything else that people are willing to come to me to talk about.